The first thing I'd like to ask you about is the time lapse. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, the, um, the crew all got together and said, hey, Anthony, you have to do that time lapse shot of us setting the whole thing up and breaking it down. So they said that close to the beginning of the tour, and as we kept going across Canada, because we went from one end west to the east, they were saying, you know, are you going to get that tour shot? Are you going to get that shot? And I was like, look, I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to do a thousand things, get it. And uh, finally, uh, in, um, I believe it was Winnipeg, I managed to get, because you have to climb way up in the rafters, you know. And, uh, and I set it up, and I just said, please, I put a big sign, please don't touch this thing. And uh, nobody did, thank God. And uh, yes, yeah, so that was it. It was the crew's idea to do it. And uh, I just wanted to do it with, you know, do it for them. And um, it was, again, another collaborative thing. You know? Film seemed like a tremendously collaborative work. How did that make you feel as a director? I just don't believe in the school that you, you have a means to an end. I believe you have a means to a new means to a new means to a means you never thought of, which is this film. We didn't think it was going to be a film. We, I was shooting. We thought about a DVD. We thought about certain things, but along the way, Les and I were both like, it would be nice if this was something that inspired people creatively to do something. Like, you can take a four track, you can take an eight millimeter camera, you know, you can take your flip phone and create something. And, I, and, I, and that was like an inspiration for us to continue to put it together. And so that, when you when you're thinking along those lines, you're thinking about capturing things, you know, and capturing memory and sharing memory. And so that's what that's what it became. Could you tell me about the different techniques that were employed? Well, that we chose to do. We chose to right, shoot right. a lot of formats. We had to grab a lot of archival stuff mm -hmm. um, to set up the context and to create humor because it's pretty funny, some of that stuff, the interviews. So, um, we Les really wanted 8mm. She said, I want to have 8mm for sure. Um, so, you know, uh, it was, it, there's something nice about different formats because you feel like at one point you're sitting in a theater uh, watching a real show because it's HD and high def, and then at another point you're in the same theater but you're watching it through 8mm and you're feeling something else about it. Maybe memory, maybe the obvious memory, but maybe something else. So it's so the formats themselves give you impressions and also create intimacies, you know, which are interesting. In the film's portrayal of Leslie, um, I got a sense that it was very intimate. Can you talk more about that? And then it was a question of in the footage um, finding those moments, and I think Holly Singer the editor, um, dug for that stuff, you know, she would dig for that stuff, and Les and I would be in the, in the editing suite, uh, kind of checking it out, and uh, we'd get emotional about it, and Holly would say, I see a lot of emotion in the editing room, but I'm trying to find it in the, in the footage, which meant we had to search for that stuff. Because you don't just get that panning your camera across a live show with a lot of people screaming. You know, you have to dig for it and and it was there, you know. But sometimes the camera's rolling and you don't know it and you capture something. I really, after this last experience I just had with this film and with this Ziggy Marley production I was shooting in South Africa, um, I really do believe you just have the cameras rolling all the time because you don't know when someone's going to say something or do something that you'll have never expected. And the minute you turn the camera off, something will happen. You know, so um, that's that's the all encompassing eye of documentary. That's the demand of documentary is to be there all the time, watching, listening, and being alert for what's going on. What do you hope that the audience gets out of this film? The media is a funny place that has created a, f a 
kind of strange dream world of of what is real and what isn't real and what they want to be real and what you wish was real. And I think when you make a film that allows people access on their own terms, I think that's more interesting and I think that's what Les and I did with this movie.